Testing. Testing. Hello? Okay. Okay. Crank it up. Yeah. Welcome to Deep Mellow Thoughts, along with beans chewing in the background, and um, the ambient music. This is Duder. I forgot the name of the song. Dammer. I can't pronounce it, but it's a Duder song. <laughs> and uh, we were out walking, and of course, we get walking, and well, and we're listening to the ambient music too, and, and um, got us thinking and into a fairly good conversation, which of course will probably end up not um, transpiring or posing or whatever. Um, what's the word? Um, I don't know. Transcending. Appearing on something else. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say on the fucking word. <sighs> anyway, so... Well, so we were just out there talking about, like, the, th it, the fact, uh, the reality that, you know, every once in a while, given the uh, situation that uh, Zahn and me have here, that for the most part it works, you know? It works most days, but... Every once in a while, I mean, we do have a, <coughs> sorry, um, kind of a reality day, you know, like, what the hell are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing, Tom? What are we doing? Well, we don't know. We're talking to ourselves, but it does seem pretty damn real, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's been like years, and it's just the best policy, man. I guess... You know, we obviously we question it once in a while, but um, you know, and sometimes what we we're, what were talking about earlier outside is a struggle. Yeah. Sometimes it is a bit of a struggle, but. Yeah, but then you know, what's the alternative? Look at the look at the struggles we, we used to go through. Look look at the struggles of this, so many other people go through. Yeah. Well, right. It's not like we want to do with that either, but... I don't know. It's just, these last few days have been kind of... Kind of down, you know, like... Yeah. yeah. We did a commentary last night, we were talking about it. Yeah. Um, and we mentioned how it was like two days, now it's like kind of three days. Yeah, but it happens, you know, just once in a while. Um, you know, you just fall into this, to this for a few days, but, you know, it's, it's way better than it was years ago. Years ago, we'd fall into it for, for like a week and a half for, for no fucking reason. Part of the depression was just wondering why we were depressed for crying out loud, you know, and then you realize <laughs> there are worse things, for Christ's sakes, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh... Back then, I, I imagined scenarios that I thought if I had to go through them, they'd kill me. You know, and then, then I ended up going through them. They didn't kill me. No. Uh, so that's kind of how uh, we were born. Yeah, yeah. Well, you had sat here for a couple of years, wondering what the hell to do, and trying to fit in, well, kind of looking into the things that everyone else seems to do, like, oh, moving on with someone else and all that shit. Yeah, right, but then ended up realizing that, you know, so like you've heard this before. Boy, you know, the thing I was looking for was right in front of me the whole time. Except, you know, usually when you hear that, it's... it's someone else to, talking about someone else. Yeah. And, uh, like you said, I don't know, one of us said some commentary a few weeks ago, or months ago, whatever, how many couples do you know that are one person? Yeah, yeah. And it's, you know, it's weird, but it's just the way, it, it's just the way it's gotta be. I mean, once in a while, like you said, we, there is a lonely spell. I mean, there is, uh, 
what comes along with um, this situation is, sure, there's some loneliness every once in a while. But, I mean, that comes with anything, you know. Sure, yeah, any, any, when you're with somebody, there's loneliness, too, a lot of, well, my ex-wife, <laughs> I heard a lot of that shit from her, and I've heard other people say the same thing, oh, I feel like I'm just alone, even though I'm married, I'm supposed to have a partner, I feel like I'm alone, and, you know, much as I fuck you, her, she's, well, she's probably right about, about that, at least, you know, because, um, well, I mean, I've, I've always been a loner anyway. And so, uh, the, the result here, you know, the Jamie and Zahn thing, is the closest thing it's ever going to be, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's just the best thing we can do, it's the, the, it's the thing that works the best, and I'm not, it's not what I picked, originally, if it was up to me, I'd still be fucking married, but, it's a good thing I'm not now, because, that wouldn't, you know, I, I may have never even known that it would, that it wasn't right. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, there was, you had some... You had some issues there with, um, um, with trust, because she cheated on you, Zan. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, maybe in the end, I mean, I mean, you may have done some things, or didn't do some things that made her feel like she was alone, but, I mean, the fact that she cheated on you seven months into the marriage, and, you know, something was wrong with her, too, Zan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, something's wrong with everybody, so for sure. No, something was wrong with that song. And, okay, you, you've got your issues too, but... Anyway, something's wrong with her too, and, well, it's over. It's been years. It's been, how long's it been, son? Well, she moved out for the final time somewhere between August and September of 2012, and it is now, what, June the middle of June of 2017, so we're going on five years. Yeah. And, uh, what, you've gotten through, haven't you? Yeah. Mostly from the help, from, with help from you, Jamie. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, and, well, I, it's good to hear that I've helped you. <laughs> um, Well, it's, it's just good that we invented this whole thing in our head because it's, it's what's got us through. It's just, like I said, it's, it's, it is an alternative relationship, but it's, you know, there's a, there's, there's a label on those words that means gay, but it's not, that's not what it is here. No, technically it's hetero. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's hetero man, but it's, but we're actually one male person. <laughs> It's stupid and fucked up, but whatever, it works, right? Pretty much, I, yeah. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. Except, maybe we should... I don't know. I don't know how long this commentary is going to go, to be honest. We're uh, 8.15 into it. And, uh... Like you said, if we if we could just do these voices outside while we're walking and record them, and not and have no one hear us. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, who cares if... Dude, we've been doing this how long now? You know we have talked to each other sometimes out there in the streets. Someone at some point in the last four or five fucking years has probably heard it. Yeah, probably. True. Yeah, and fuck them, you know. Just, yeah, we're freaks, whatever. Do what you, do what you want with that. I just, I, everyone just don't give a fuck anymore, son. I don't care. I don't care if people see that we're the one walking down the street fucking talking to ourselves. All they're going to see... All they're gonna know is there's a dude talking to himself, but they have no idea, like, the conversation that we're having, you know, it's, uh, you know, they don't, they don't know this world, you know, and, uh, you know? Yeah, yeah, well, that's true, and, right, like, when you see, you've heard about these crazy people, or, you know, people telling you, oh, I saw this crazy person walking on the street talking to himself, you know? Same thing. Exactly. You know, they don't know. Well, may or may not be the same thing. Yeah, well, I mean, they, well, they, I don't know. They may or may not be crazier than us. <laughs> Who's on? We didn't really do an intro. Oh, uh, okay, uh, all right. 10.30 and 48 seconds p.m. on June 20th, Tuesday, 2017. 
This is uh, Jamie Zahn. Vent, rant, whatever you want to call it. We'll try to come up with a title for it tonight at some point. Yeah. Mellow rant or I don't know. Oh, this damn monitor went to sleep. We are in the middle of a function here. And I have no other lights on in, this, in, in here right now. Almost no other lights. Uh, Holy crap. That was pretty healthy sounding. It was pretty healthy feeling. <laughs> Kudos. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for helping both of us, you know. No problem. We're always here for each other. Yeah, well, so far, well, yeah, so far we have been. And, uh, I don't know about you, but I don't really see that changing anytime soon. Grateful for beer. Uh, right now I'm typing our friend Nat, a towel of velvet. Keep this conversation going, son, or uh, what do you want to do? Um, you know, I, I'll tell you what, to be honest with you, I think I might want to change the uh, playlist here. You want to shuffle it or something? Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, the ambient was good, but it, yeah, I, I think uh, let's just see what happens. Just shuffle it and let's see what comes up and see what we land on and see how it makes us feel, okay? Sure, yeah. All right, well, do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the effect. All right. Okay. I'm gonna go over here and change this thing. You, you keep talking to him. Okay, I'll try. Um, what do you want me to say? I don't know. Just keep talking to him. Okay. Um. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Singing hello by Lionel Richie? Oh, I can if you want. All right, go ahead. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> Not bad. Dude, I never have once in my life sang in tune. You 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 always fixed it. I know. Well well here's the thing. I don't know how to fix it anymore with the new logic, so you, you maybe just have to, you know, just just do it right first time, you know. Well I try, man. I know. Just fuck with you. I know. Put something on, man. Alright, we're gonna Go to the shuffle, or do what you're gonna do with the shuffle. I'm doing it. Trying. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh shit, really. All right, well, come here and sit down. Let's talk about this song. All right. I am next to you now. Okay, go. Turn it down. All the way. Oh, hold on. Got the window blocking. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Anyway, uh, so... Alright, so this is called The Story, which we've done commentary on already. It's from our album 20, from 2016, called Live to Tell the Story. Second to last track. This was supposed to be kind of a positive thing to help family members or, uh, put a little pos positive vibe out there. Probably didn't work. Well, yeah. These things rarely do, huh? on. It's, uh, you know... People don't care. People actually care more about the fucking commentaries and the music. I know that's why we we put commentary. But finally, we, we had a well, we were we had a rant last night. Yeah. And uh, talking about how we were well, right during that rant, we were in the middle of also trying to upload that damn the commentary for Free Anxiety Theory for the Poor 101, and uh, it was taking forever. But finally, when I we woke up this morning for work, it, it was there. It had had loaded successfully so we put it out today but it uh yeah but it wouldn't let us it wouldn't like put the full link it just it put the link out but it wouldn't put um like the the image where you just click on the video it's just the link so i don't think it i think shit like that helps it get out there a little more yeah well yeah maybe sometimes but there's only a select people that, that are going to hear it anyway i put it out for a couple people that, that told me uh they were kind of getting a kick out of the out of the little healers commercials and shit like that, so. <laughs> so, uh, what the hell, let's just do this, you know? So anyway, I hit the shuffle and this is what came up. One of our tunes. Fuck it, man. Kudos, man. 
No one else is gonna love us, huh? So we might as well. Right? We have music friends that don't even like our music. But, you know, you'd think like at least your friends that are music friends, even if they don't necessarily like the song you come out with, they just give you a kudos, you know, like. Yeah, just like, hey, you know, kudos on doing something. Yeah. I mean, if I had a friend that was in a country band, oh god, that would be hard because I hate country. <laughs> Fred still want to give him a little shout out. Hey, cool, you're doing something. You know, not necessarily gonna mention that we're in love with what you do, but right. But hey, at least yeah, just cool, you're doing something. Okay. Um, so the story song that's just about a, it's just kind of a positive thing, like uh, basically just just try to think more positive, you know, and. You know, and don't worry about um, your history. And if you need to uh, rip a few of the worst pages out of it, you know, then why not? Right. Hey, guess what time, Jamie? Oh, wow, Electric Six. It's <laughs> yeah, let's let it play. Yeah, we love it. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's give it just a minute. Um, I'm going to have to get back here. Hold on. Get another beer here. Well, actually, well, let's 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 bolt this down the fuck out of this thing. Okay. Uh, nice. That sounded like a combo burp of you and me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we've tried to do your burps, but they always they either come out either the low pitch burps that I do, or sometimes they come out a little higher pitch, but they never sound quite high enough to be your burps. So we'll just call them a combo of both of us. Sure, Zon. Whatever you want. Whatever we want to do. We, yeah. Like, doesn't mean a fucking thing. No. And no, it doesn't mean shit to anybody. Nobody cares. It doesn't really mean shit to us, except this is self-entertainment. You know, that's kind of why we do this, because like, fuck, because people aren't trustworthy, and fuck people. Can you turn it down? I, I can see that the levels it's been up. All right. Yeah, but that one's a rocker after the last, after we're doing that ambient stuff. Yeah, we got to try to adjust the levels, yeah. I'm trying... I, I want it to get... I, I wish it could be, like, just perfect. You hear just enough of the background music and just enough of us talking and not so much of that chair creaking zone. I know. I keep trying to stop it. Well, so do I. <laughs> let's both try to stop it, Tom. You know, let's both work together seeing as we're stuck in one person. Is this... You know, like, those black Siamese twins, you know? Like, I wonder... I know this isn't, like, anywhere near like that, but, like, I wonder if it's... Somewhere in the realm, like, maybe we do have really two personalities. And, I mean, is it just shit we make up or, you know? I don't know, Zarn. Zon. I called you Zarn. Well, you know, what difference does it make? I'm Zon and you're Jamie, right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah, right. Doesn't fucking mean anything. Doesn't fucking matter. No. Let's, let's down this beer and see where it takes us. Fuck it. All right. By the way, so we should probably mention every, you know, the names of songs. Let's be the DJ here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me do it. Or... You can do it. Okay, let's uh, li- listen to Electric Six, one of my favorite bands, of course. It's coming up a whole lot on the iPod Shuffle because there's more Electric Six on there at this point than anything else we said last night. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, we, we need to put more stuff on there. Yeah, but well, right now... We got two iPods. The other one's already completely full of commentaries and old JOS stuff and all that. Like all that shit's on there. It's, it's completely full. So now we're using the uh, this iPod that's supposed to be our music iPod, but now we're putting commentaries and shit on there because we got no fucking room. Anyway, this song called uh, "Lee" by Electric Six. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Lee by Electric Six. What's next? Um. Hmm. Well, here's a band by Electric Six. By the way, this is all in the shuffle. This is up to the iTunes. Yeah. So, uh, this is a song called Broken Machine by a band called Electric Six. Okay. And, um, just quickly, uh, if you don't mind, I'm mentioning the history of... Oh, yeah, yeah. So, our ex-wife and, and, I mean, we got into this with our ex-wife years ago, but she left, kind of ruined it, the whole thing for a while. Then she ended up, we found out she went to, like, to see Electric Six with some other dude. Like, you fucking bitch. That was our fucking band, asshole. You could have... You left, you cheated, all that shit. You could have at least left Electric Six alone, right? Yeah, no kidding. No shit, because that bitch... 
Damn it, she made it. I could not list. I couldn't even listen to Electric Six for about a year and a half. I took it all off my fucking iPod, and I still loved them. But I couldn't, you know, nothing against Dick Valentine. Well, then there was that instance we found out that she went to a uh, Dick Valentine. You know, he does stuff on the side, is some solo stuff. It's just him with a guitar. He plays like acoustic and yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, found out that she she went to that one of them. You know, it's a small venue and all that, but still, I guess uh, Dick Valentine was calling ladies on the stage, and she raised her hand, and she was picked. She got on the st- she got to be on stage with her, with him, and shit. And so, for a while, I was even kind of unfairly pissed at Dick Valentine. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, yeah. Not that he knew, but it's a soft spot that he hit, but he didn't know he hit it, so it's not his fault. But you can't help the way you feel either. Right. Exactly. So, uh, but the thing is now, I mean, we've listened to six. It's really only the first year inside of two years' time. I mean, we got into six in 2011. By 2012, she was moving out. We were having all them problems. And Well, 2011, she moved out. When did we get into six? Maybe maybe late 2010, maybe early 2011, something like that. Might have maybe been late 2010, maybe. It's shit, man. Years have gone by. It's getting hazy. <laughs> it's getting foggy now. I can't even fucking remember. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, shit, yeah. She had you and me been together for four and a half years, kind of. Well, we've been working together that long, and it was probably a while after we started working together, we kind of started realizing that we were, like, in the head together, you know. Like, nah. Yeah. Yeah, like, not a... It's not a relationship relationship, but it's a relation. It is a relationship. It's it's a partnership, you know. It's really more of a partnership, son, you know. It's, oh, totally. It's not... We don't... We don't go to the movies together. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, there'd be one dude sitting there talking to himself, and that's the reality of it to others, you know. But to us, I mean, we you know, whole different world, you know. Yeah, exactly. I gotta get a beer, and then I gotta piss. Okay. So do I. <laughs> Wanna announce this one's a. Okay, this is a song called Driving Into Certain Death, which I didn't think we had anymore. This iTunes is glitchy. Um, Anyway, it's uh, it's not Electric Six. Dick Valentine. (laughs) The chef loves Electric Six, but like I said, there's there's probably a hundred Electric Six and Dick Valentine songs in there and like like five to ten of everything else. The healer shit's on there and some damn neat stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I got PTs on. Should we go? Yeah, let's let's just let it. I'm being a little lazy, so, so let's just go get our beer and take a pee and let the damn music play for a minute. Who cares? Sounds good to me, mister. All right. We'll be right back. Yes, we will. You were driving in the certain death. Just like last year when you were driving into certain death. Mm. Oh, it's on, kitten. I love this tune. Oh, wow, yeah. Turn that way. Can we turn it up a little? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Crank down a little bit while we... And we'll let it... Let's go pee and let, let it play. This is... Uh, I'll, you can announce it. Okay, this is a band called Kit doing a song called uh, Japanese Eyes. One of our faves, right, Tom? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Jamie. All right, let's go pee. Okay. Please listen. We're going to stop being DJs and talking over the damn song. We'll be right back.
Anyway. Yeah. Okay, we're back. All right. Shit. Oh, it's empty. I think there was some beer left. In. I should have known better. Of course, the only beers we have laying around here. Unless we have beers in the fridge that are full, the only beers that are outside of the fridge are empty. Yeah, yeah. That's the only kind of beer that we have that's not in the fridge. <laughs> Unless we just bought it and hadn't put it in the fridge yet. I feel like by the next day, the only beers that are not in the fridge are empty cans. <laughs> yes, empty can beer. That's our. That's we're gonna we're gonna invent that. Yeah, no, we, we have. We already did. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Damn it. We should have should have had you sing more right. Oh. Yeah, well no, actually, probably not. Oh, come on. I'm not playing it again, so. I know I'm just fuck up yeah. Okay, yeah. Yes, it's playing a lot of six, but this is a good tune, man. Turn it down a bit, though, the levels on. Okay. We're trying to. Yeah. We're trying. We're trying to adjust because you know all, all these. It's. Yeah, the, the one thing I always wish, the, like iPods had, were were like compressors, because you put your your, your different songs in there that you like that are by different bands that are recorded in different studios at different volumes and they, and they all range and, and you wish they had some kind of a middle ground compressor thing in there that you know that would level out the volumes yeah 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 I mentioned that once before in a commentary years ago like I'm out walking with my with my buds in and I'm listening to one song and I'm used to the volume of level of that song and then the next one comes on and it's so loud and oh my god or the next one comes out, it's fucking, I can't even fucking hear it. Right. Just a big old pain in the ass. What do you say we go for a full 80 here? 80 what? 80 minutes. On this commentary? Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, well, so we could fill a whole 80. Like, uh, so, like, we could just fill one whole fucking CD. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, oh, man. I'm up for trying, dude, but I don't know. I mean, now we're just talking about nothing, you know? We're, well, okay, we're 28 and a half minutes almost into this. What are we going to talk about for another 50 fucking two minutes, I don't know where it is. I don't know. All right, well, how about this, then? Let's at least get to 40. That's only 12, that's less than 12 minutes away. We can easily do that. Okay, well, okay, I, I could do that, and, and how, well, 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 I was thinking we could do a, a 40 or like, like a 39 and a 39 and get it on one disc, you know, at least do that. Okay, well, we could, well, we could, we could totally do 40, because right now we're at 29 minutes, that's 11 more minutes we can do, but what about, um, like, what if we even went a little over 40, but not necessarily all the way to 80? Well, sure. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. It doesn't have to be 40. I mean, we could do we could do a 50 and a 30. You know. Yeah, yeah. That's for 30. Let's just see where it takes us. But you know, I, I think honestly, we're drunk, son. Let's drink more beer. <laughs> All right. Let's see where that takes us. We get we got a new one, right? Yeah. Well, it's yeah. It's open. We just did one so. Anyway, um, I announced the song, Tom. Oh yeah, yeah. So here's a band that uh, that's called Electric Six, <laughs> and uh, it's called uh, Dance Without 2005. Good tune, cool, just a just a cool sounding song. Good beat, good riff. Yeah, yeah. Not that we're much into dancing, but no, 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 we're not at all. Even though I'm a female, I don't like dancing. 
So there's a message to to mostly to you guys out there who think women all like to dance. Well, not all of us do. Announce the songs. On. <laughs> okay, here's a band called Electric Six. Called the. Uh, ah, oh shit! I don't know the name of this one anymore. Shit, let me. Shit, what is it? Oh, uh, I'm. Is it? I'm the bomb. That's. It. Yeah, yeah, I'm the bomb. Uh, we have the option to play it or not. Well. Let's play it. It's a good tune. How about this? Let's let's let it go. If the next one's a sixth song, we'll shuffle it up a little more. All right, cool, cool. Um, I think we should pound at least half of that beer right now, Son, and just see if we can make this conversation any more interesting. Because right now it's kind of boring. Yeah, we're at um, almost 31 minutes in here. Just, we're already like probably surpassing last night's commentary. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's, it's going to end up being longer than last night's, but probably also more boring. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe, but drink that beer and let's see if we can spark it up a little air. <laughs> all right. And as you all know, Jamie made me drink the same beer because we only have one mouth to share. Yep, unfortunately. Well, actually, it's kind of good that we talked about this before. We've talked about, like, what if we could really somehow magically make ourselves into these two actual people? There could really be a Jamie and Son, but then then we kind of thought, well, that in a way kind of goes against everything we want to do in the first place, because... They, yeah, yeah, because otherwise we'd just be the same damn situation with fucking if all the other idiots out there, all the other human beings trying to relate and intermingle their worlds with another human being's world, and fuck that. Yeah, no shit. You know, you always, yeah, I mean, you always have to consider the other person. It's not that that's a bad thing, you know. I mean, we used to do it. Right? Yeah, I was married for years, and I, yeah, we, I had, well, I, I probably didn't do a very good job at it, but you know, I mean, my, she was always on the, on my mind. If she, if she was coming home from work and she was a little late, I was worried. I hope nothing happened, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, but uh, anyway, uh. Anyway. Here we go. Yeah. So um, let's hear the same mouth there and, and appreciate the fact that we have way less fights in this relationship. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. we don't fight at all. No, not really. We uh, we debate a little, but we don't really fight. And I think it's the only way. Yeah. Well, the only, like, I was telling, I was just telling a guy I work with, Scott, today. I said, you know, the only way I'd want to be in a relationship with another person again is for it to be a fantasy land relationship, which I obviously know is not realistic with another actual person because you, you have to you have to have someone else's life and world in with your life and world. And no matter what you do, there's gonna be confrontations. And Yeah, yeah. And uh But that's the only way I'd want it is if I could, if I could be with somebody and know that we're never gonna have a fight, we're never. I mean, we could debate a little, maybe disagree a little, but never have a blow up fight, never have a fucking fight, you know, never have that stress ever. It was always gonna be cloud nine. Then maybe okay, but I know that's not realistic because it's like I always said. At least this is my experience, you know. I can't speak for anyone else, but the way it's always been is for me. It's the couple of people I've dated in my life. Everything when you start dating somebody, what I did, it was cloud nine. Everything was cloud fucking nine. Everything it was great until the first argument, and you, the first time you got pissed at each other. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <coughs> sorry. But after that, after that, you know, you make up and everything, and things are okay again. But they're never as good as just before that first fight. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. And that's why uh, we've kind of developed this relationship or partnership, whatever you want to call it. It's not, well, I was going to say it's not romantic, but I don't know. I mean, it's not that we love ourselves, but you come to a realization at some point that, you know, you have to care about yourself at least a little bit. And we mentioned this before, but that, you know, you have to kind of take care of yourself in order to be able to take care of anything else. You know, it's like... Exactly, yeah. It's like... 
booths, like taking care of beans, for example. I mean, if we let ourselves go to shit, you know, we start, I mean, if we let ourselves go to shit, we stop forgetting to um, take care of beans, you know? Well, that's, that's just bullshit, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I, well, I'm not a parent of humans, but, but uh, well, I'm not a parent. Kind of a guardian, I suppose, to beans, something like that. But yeah, I mean, I, I would never want to just, oh, I'm not getting out of bed today and... And, and, and you know, so many, so many people do that. They, so many people are just so fucking self-indulgent. They they think of nothing but themselves, or at least they think of nothing but themselves and a few other humans, and a, which of course you know excludes the fucking um, anyone that is any existence that's not a human. You know, dogs, cats, and everybody else is below them. You know. Yeah, and I fucking hate that shit. Son, we were supposed to shuffle this thing, man. Oh uh, yeah. All right, enough of the six interchangeable knife for listening to by Electric Six, but we're about to. Skip. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Skin Surf by Terra Mellos. Let's not talk during this. All right. I just want to say this is like our favorite Terra Mellos song. One of our favorites. Fuck yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love this tune. I gotta do shit. <laughs> yeah. You got the... I got the notes on. Yeah, but you got the riddle right. Yeah, We're learning the song. Right? We're learning these changes. We love to hear about this because the changes. Surf. Oh, and here's a uh, big walnuts yonder. This is a uh, Mick Reinhardt from Terramellos, the guitar player. Uh, Nels Klein, the drummer. I still can't remember his fucking name. And of course, Mike Watt. Yep, Mike Watt on bass. Oh, but this is that one that's like the dreamy thing that's eight minutes long. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Well, let's move on. So we don't have time for that. Yeah. Or Dick Valentine. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. This is a song called uh, Heaven by a band called Kitten. Yes, yeah, Laura Fame. I'll turn it down a little bit, though. It might be uh, shit up here. Oh, Dave, you're right. Well, turn it. Fuck it, just turn it up. Well, it's just like 
be lazy and let the music do some of the work here. We're at 40 minutes, by the way. Wow, cool. I don't know the rest of the words. Yeah. Right on. Sorry, Zahn, man. I try, dude. I try to give it the most <laughs> female sounding vocal I can give you. It just doesn't always happen. Like, the levels are pretty high. You should turn it down a little. Alright. And of course, uh, we're picking up those Facebook things. Uh, How long do you want to do this? Well, where we are right now, 42 minutes. You want to go to 50 or something? You want to just end it now? I don't care. It's enough time, man. I don't give a shit. Well, we could because we got to convert it and all that. Run it through logic, make it sound a little better. Yeah. Um, we can do that. Okay, you want to, let's let Kitten. Um, rest of the song play and then we'll end it sounds good I'm kind of out of words I think, I think we did discuss some shit here yeah I think we got a few things down here we should probably go back and review it I think we got started off um, well it's we've covered some shit here I know we, it's, it seems a lot like we've just been not talking about anything but I, actually we, I think we have I think we covered some points here <laughs> what difference does it make if we didn't it's this is our own audio diary, Zon. It's just for you and me to hear, anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I got a burp. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are most welcome. <coughs> little, little extra credit there? Yeah, a little bonus. It's like, damn it, we're talking over this song. Yeah, but, yeah, this is... I kind of have to do it. It's commentary. It's, or, or, just, not commentary, just... Ranting, ranting, whatever. We haven't come up with a title for this yet. Like mellow. I know mellow was one idea. Mellow, something mellow. Uh, you want to talk about your dream you had? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll just mention that real quick. Um, most of the dreams I have are either that I am somewhere and I can't find my way back home, or I lost my. Uh, we've lost the house, or actually, in those dreams. I didn't necessarily lose them, lose the house. We just decided that we can't afford it, so we move. And in almost every one of those dreams, we're back in the trailer. Yeah, yeah. Even though, like, shit in reality, if, if we lost the house, we getting even getting the trailer back would probably not even be an option. Yeah, that's yeah. Reality would even suck even more than fucking dreams. But I have these fucking dreams all the time. Either I'm I've driven somewhere. And then I'm driving around and I can't find my way back to the main road to get home. And then I park or something and I'm walking around and then I lose, I can't even find the car. Oh, yeah. It's frustrating. So I had a dream like that today. We came home from work and had a, kind of a long nap. It was like a wintertime nap. I'm going to pause this now because we're going to be done here. Okay. Um... It's like the dreams I have, we have in the winter because in the winter there's way less to do around here. Summertime there's outdoor stuff. This, it's like running a small farm around here, kind of, you know. Yeah, yeah. Winter, uh, 
winter, you know, that stuff is done and we're packed away. And so we have a lot of nap. I have to work naps, a lot more of them during the winter than summer. And I have a lot of dreams like that. And so today, you know, as I said, uh, we, we have way less after work naps now, but today we had one and it was a long one. Went to bed. What time, what time we go to bed? Uh, I don't think it was much after, well, shit. It might have been like five. It was going to say not much after five. It might have been more like 530. Because, well, anyway, because we were fucking with that, trying to get that, our commentary loaded, the anxiety commentary, and that was. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was. Yeah, that was a pain in the ass, too. Oh, jeez. Yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, so maybe maybe 5.15 to 5.30. We did not wake up till like, a little after 8 o'clock. It's kind of late. Yeah, yeah. It was already, like, okay, we had, like, a half hour tops before it was dark out. And we still had to take a shower, and it was a long one because we had to do, our, do all our shaving and shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're, we're stuck in the uh, physique of a male that shaves legs and armpits and all that, so... Yeah, yeah. We try to make it a, a, the least gross we can, you know. I mean, we're we're nothing to look at, but we try to. Well, you know, if Jamie, if if we were both real life people, I'm sure Jamie'd be good looking. Zon wouldn't be because Zon'd be the guy. <laughs> Shut up. Well, okay. So that's why we kind of simulated a little bit here. Yeah, we uh we shave the legs, stuff like that, because we wear a little bit of girl clothes, because it's. Uh, we're not, you know, not to be fully pre-op or turning into a female, but we got to represent a little bit of that because of the Jamie, you know. Yeah. And there's still Zod in there, too, though. So we don't, you know, it's it's not like we're going to go one way or the other. We're just kind of stuck in between both worlds, sort of, but only in our head, too. Well, it's in our head, but we kind of outwardly show that nowadays. Yeah, for the last couple of years with the clothes and stuff, yeah. People know us we're a little off-kilter. <laughs> yeah. But it's okay. This is on, uh, man, let's end it, dude. All right. Quick weather report. Sure. It is, Jesus, 59 degrees. That's colder than that. Remember, we, it was 63 and then down to 61 like yesterday, last night? Yeah. It's 59. Damn. Yeah, it was like 63 before we went for the walk, and now it's 59. There should be no 50 anything in the end of June, damn it. I know. That is doing nothing for the pole temperature. Yeah, no shit. So, anyway, uh, so we, let's cut this off just a little before 50, and that'll give us a good half hour still for another commentary, and we can put that on one disc, and that'll give us, you know, if we do it, we, we stop it before 50, that'll give us 30 minutes plus a couple. If we run over a minute and a half or something, we'll be okay. Okay, cool. Um, so, well, you did the weather report, but you, all you did was the temperature. Well, yeah, that's all I know. They don't show anything else. Well, I can look it up, but I'm too lazy right now. Anyway, right now it's 59 degrees, and it's dark. And it was raining, but it's not now. There you go. Okay, there you go. All right, so sign out? Yep. Okay. Should I? Go ahead. It's Jamie... Not Jamie Martin Richardson. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Robin Richardson. We are here with Beans, Love Richardson, and my co-partner over here is, who are you? I am Zahn Martin Richardson, and we are partners in crime, in our own head. Right, except for Beans. Beans is really a dog who exists, but Jamie and Zahn kind of exist in the head, yes. Yes, mentioned a million, million, fucking, zillion fucking times. Yep. Okay, so let's see, it's, uh, give me five seconds here. It is 11.10 p.m., June 20th, 2017, Tuesday. We're signing out. This is um, this is Healers, by the way. We should mention, we should start mentioning that we're Healers and all our commentaries on, even the ones that aren't about our albums, right? Yeah, yeah. We should. We talked about that last night, too. Yeah. Yeah, we should do that. So we're Healers. And Healers are... are... Uh, Beans Love... Jamie, Robin, and Zon Martin Richardson. And that is what makes up healers. Please uh, check out our music. Uh, apparently, uh, people like our commentaries more than our fucking music. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, well, fuck them, whatever. You know, we'll, we have G-Man, 
you know. Yeah, G-Man. G-Man's our only fan. Yeah. Well, G-Man's a fan, and also we're our own fans, you know. Someone's got to do right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, we're over 50 now. Damn it. All right, let's close. All right, good night. We will see you on the next commentary. Yep, we will see you in the next commentary. Good night from Jamie. Good night from Zahn. And, uh, and from Beans. Yep, good night from Beans. Good night.